the magic circle is a great alternative to starting in the round with the little chain circle that we've been making all along. Let's take a look at two squares. This one has the normal chain four start. If you look very closely right here, you can see that the knot of the slip knot at the beginning of that shows ever so slightly right there. It just breaks up the smoothness of our center circle. This one over here was begun with the magic circle. There's no telltale knot showing right there, and all our stitches are coming out of our circle nice and smooth. And as I believe I mentioned before, you can also tighten this up and adjust the size of this center circle if you need to just a little bit. Let's go ahead and make a magic circle. To make the magic circle, you skip the slip knot and just begin with the tail end of your yarn. What you're going to do is wrap it around your finger of your non-hook hand towards you twice. Let me show you what I mean. Here is my non-hook hand. I'm going to wrap the yarn towards me. Here's the cut end coming towards me once and then a second time so that the tail of the yarn is facing me. Now with both of these wrapped around my finger, I'm going to use the other fingers of that hand to hold them still for now while I insert my hook under both of those loops like so. And then with the hook, we grab the hook for the, the loop furthest back on our finger and pull it under the other one. And then we just begin stitching. Let me show you what I mean. We're going to chain three. And it just depends on what you're making here. Again, this is a great way to start any project that works in the round. But we'll start with a chain three, like so. And then let's make a double crochet. To make a double crochet into the magic circle or any stitch, you just reinsert that hook under both of those loops and make your stitch. Like so. Oops. Let me get those loops back on our hook there and pull those through. Now you'll see, as I made that second stitch, I was able to pull my finger out of the loop. If your loop feels a little wobbly or using a much thinner or slipperier yarn, you may need to make a few stitches before you can pull your finger out. But as soon as it feels stable, it's okay to go ahead and pull that out. Now, what I would do is I would go ahead and finish my granny square, or again, whatever project I was making while working in the round. And when I got to the end of that first round, what I can do is if need be, take that little tail and pull the magic circle closed. So I can make a completely closed motif in the center, or I can leave it a little bit open and just weave that in, that end in with the circle held open for a nice round circle. And if we go back to that one I set aside, right here, we can say on the finished square, there's no knot peeking through and we've got nice smooth double crochets. So that is how you make the magic circle. <laughs>